Well, Brian T. City Ortega was 14-0 with a no contest when he ran into Max Holloway in his first UFC championship opportunity. That night didn't go his way, but a lot of people think he has all the skills and all the makeup to eventually get that belt around his waist. You don't lose, you get an opportunity to get better, and that's what Brian Ortega has to do after he lost that fight to Max Holloway. He will look to take those lessons learned in the octagon over the course of four and a half, five rounds, and apply them to his career as he goes forward. He has the skill, he has the heart, he has the ability, but now you just gotta put it all together if you wanna realize a UFC championship. And of course, if you hear the ladies screaming, that's because T-City has taken his shirt good. off in the <laughs> inspection team. is a hard one to hold down consistently, but this man has done it. He's the undisputed champion, and his latest title defense comes here tonight. He seems to be getting better. You, you think that when a guy becomes a champion, he may rest on his laurels. He may start to take a look at his work and smile. Right. Not this guy. This guy is doing more now. He seems more motivated to continue to build on the legacy that he's already created. He's a great champion. It's 90 and 10 to keep that belt. And he's never sitting on a lead. He's never playing with his food. He's always focused. And now the champion has his sights set on this very worthy challenger here tonight. All right, both fighters have entered the octagon. And this massive, massive fight is nearly upon us, ready to go from Anaheim at the Honda Center with one of the biggest fights of the year. All right, now we bring you the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it was the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Brian T. City Ortega. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight. Champion of the world, Elia El Matador Herb Dean, our referee Here's for this back. one. Ready. Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made inside these walls. Good to have you with us from Honda Center tonight here in Anaheim, California. So many big UFC live events in this venue this year. It's a great arena. It's a beautiful arena, but one that I would gladly never step foot in again. I think he's the only guy to lose two UFC championships in this pit of hell that is called the Honda Center. No, fantastic arena. This does not work for me. That one connected. To the leg kick now, that one's no good. Takedown defense holds up. All right now they separate. So more output at least in the early going. Oh, the hook lands. That was great head movement. Well, Ortega's boxing is really sharp here tonight. You gotta think James Lurson likes what he sees out of that Ortega corner. Just missed with the left there. Nice job on the counter there, and this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over-aggressiveness of his opponents against them, and that's exactly what he did there to great effect. 
25 total strikes have landed for Brian Ortega. Great block there. Just over three minutes to go round one. Now inside the close goal. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Topodia's pass attempt denied. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Topuria getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. All right, feet on the hips here. Ortega is right back to the full mount. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Lands the ground and pound strike. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Ortega is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Lands to the body there. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, it's not always easy being a oh, huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot, lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Nice by Ortega. Leg kick. Nice crack. Oh! Oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, nice right hand. I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if he could here. A flying triangle. I mean, is that even a real technique? I mean, the guy used his opponent's body to propel him up over his neck right into the guard to the triangle. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Ortega's in half court. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after Ready, it. Fight. One guy gets Ready. an advantage. The other Good. guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well-versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. That was on full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. 
locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. He passed the half guard. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Digesting this result, what a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, Bruce Buffer is in there with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Brian T. City Ortega. So how about it? We got a new UFC featherweight champion, and you weren't even looking at your phone. You saw the whole thing. I saw the whole thing. I was stuck watching this guy. This guy got all, this guy had my full attention. He's a great fighter, a great performance to become the champion of the world.